Hello guys, welcome to Better Talks. I'm here today with a special guest and I'm going to allow him to introduce himself to the audience. Folks, welcome. Thank you for having me. My name is Marco Torres. I am the founder of a company called marketingboost.com and uh, we serve business owners around the world with travel incentives, what we call the wow, surprise and delight factor. We provide travel incentives that help business owners add value to whatever their call to action is instead of discounting. Add value to help get people to choose you over your competition. Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, I know your niche is marketing and um, marketing is something that most businesses, especially startups, are afraid to, to do, to exercise. Is there something else that we need to take into consideration apart from the I know there's a selling component to marketing, but what else can we keep an eye for? Sure. Well, at the end of the day, I mean, I've been an internet marketer since 1996. So mm -hmm. I have been around wow. the block here a few years. I've been online uh, since before Google and Facebook um, wow. in the early days, very early adapter of internet marketing. And it's, it's, mm -hmm. I've seen and watched the entire evolution of the internet. But at the end of the day, I mean, sales and marketing, they go hand in hand, right? But okay. before you can make a sale, typically, there's marketing involved. And, and, and typically, you know, most in bigger companies, the marketing teams don't always get along with the sales teams because the salespeople are complaining that the leads are no good and the marketing people are complaining that the salespeople can't close the door. And so mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a little bit of, you know, push and pull on on getting the marketing team uh, to work well with the sales team and make things, you know, smooth together. So what do we mean by that? Marketing is the the strategies, right, of of going to market to tell the world about your product and service. If nobody, you can't sell anything until somebody knows you exist. And that's, you know, whether, well, I mean, I take that back. There is such a thing as direct sales where salespeople do their own marketing and sales all in one, right? They're knocking on doors, going business to business or making telemark phone calls. But uh, that process often takes more than one visit. And that's kind of like the combination of the marketing, right? You went in, you you knocked on doors, you left a brochure, you did something to create a, a uh, interest or desire and open up, the, open up the, the prospect's mind to your product or service. And then there's eventually getting into closing the, you know, making a sales presentation and closing the sale. But marketing can be a, a big combination of things, you know, whether it be eventually just advertising and or it's the whole the whole process of creating, you know, marketing is a combination of everything, creating the brand, uh, the, the, the logo, the color images that you're going to use, the, uh, the copy that you're writing to, to sell and brand your product and service. And then it's about how do you get the word out? How do you literally get the word out? And of course, marketing, you're looking for ways to do that affordably, such as, you know, can I get on podcasts with, with Peter, Peter, you know, folks like yourself so I can tell my story on podcasts? Can I get interviewed on TV? Can I get interviewed on the radio? Can I get um, uh, press releases written about my company? All of that is a part of that mm. marketing processes that any business is gonna need to make. And, and it never ends because you're always doing marketing. You're always doing something to get to keep your business front and center in front of prospects that are a good match for your business. So you have, you have mentioned quite a lot of diverse channels in which people can market their products. So those those channels, are they dependent on your, your, your audience, your target audience? Or because most times when we want to market, we we'll use all these channels and now open that who will attract our target market. Let's say, for example, if you have a youthful product, um, the best channel to to put your product out there is through social media, right? Rather than uh, printing out magazines or, or, or TV ads, you know what I mean? So most yeah. of the businesses, they try to use all the channels to, to market their product, and they're not really specific to narrow things down. Well, true. And especially when you're on a small budget, you know, you can't be anywhere. You kind of, the goal is to be everywhere all the time, right? If you're going to be a, eventually be a, a household brand, you need to be 
a lot of touch points for people to see, recognize, but even on a much smaller scale, right? You want to be, you want to be on social media, right? You want to be, uh, uh, if you're selling something locally in your community, you want to be supporting maybe local nonprofits in your area, and you want to be uh, at, uh, you know, yeah, obviously social media is the easy place to start, but getting uh, going from social media and then. And then you need to do retarget marketing, which is what it's called. So if you're doing, uh, if you are doing ads on Facebook, on TikTok, on Twitter, then as they see your ads, if they clicked on your link, if they landed on mm -hmm. your landing page, you need to set up remarketing so that you're following them now across the internet and, de and delivering ads to them again. The other thing most people don't do well, and they need to be building their own database, mm -hmm. you need to be acquiring name, phone number, and email. You need okay. to be acquiring these these prospects that you're marketing to. You need to find ways to generate leads, and 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 get a build that database so that you own those leads. And now you can get a CRM system of some sort and start emailing and texting and voicemail broadcasting and sending communications and bringing them back to your Facebook page, bringing them back to your website so that they have an opportunity to see and hear about you multiple times because it takes typically uh, used to be studies that it took at least seven times for people to see you or your brand before they'd buy from you. Today, it's probably more like 14 to 21 times that people wow. need to see you before they're going to take an action and buy. So therefore, you need to be on the social media. You need to grab their lead. You need to be emailing, texting, voicemail, broadcasting showing that you are the who you are the expert the authority maybe getting them to join a facebook group start a facebook group and get folks into your facebook group where you can nurture them and communicate with them in your group until you can eventually get them buying your product or services wow that's awesome thanks for sharing that mr marco my question to you is um the power of using incentive to sell more Without discounting, this is very. This is a very interesting statement. Can you elaborate more on that? Sure. Well, let's talk about incentives first, and what are incentives? What a lot of people, when I talk about incentive-based marketing, they don't really know what I mean. So let's talk about one that everybody's going to recognize, and that is an Amazon Prime with Jeff Bezos, one of the most successful <laughs> e-commerce vendors in the world. Back in 2005, he launched Amazon Prime, and it was $79 a year, and they didn't even have video uh, uh, content back then. The, the incentive, the hook, the customer draw card was free shipping. Mm. We bought into Amazon Prime and, because we wanted free shipping, and then once we did that, we were hooked. We were Now we were shopping on Amazon <laughs> Even any, before anywhere else, was you know we wanted to make sure that if let's see if Amazon has it because if they do, I'll buy it from Amazon. Even though you might have originally seen it on Macy's.com, but now you're going to go. Let me see if Amazon has the same thing because with Amazon, I get the free shipping. So yeah. that became a, a, an amazing hook, and it still works. De you know, several decades later, we now get Amazon free shipping the same day. You know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, another example is McDonald's with. Um, the Happy Meal. They get parents with children to choose McDonald's over any other fast food because they help get parents to take their eyes off of the price and focus on the prize. And what is the prize? The Happy Meal with the, you know, the food, the snack, the soda, and of course the toy. That little seasonal toy has been free creating about $4 billion a year in extra wow. revenue for McDonald's for decades and it keeps working every year, year over year. Why every other fast food hasn't copied it, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> the, the Happy Meal is positive. So what is your adult Happy Meal? If you're in business for yourself, what is your adult Happy Meal? What are you doing to stand out from the crowd? And so that's what Marketing Boost does. We provide uh, complimentary hotel stays at, uh, in 130 destinations around the world mm -hmm. from three to seven night stays that as a member of Marketing Boost, you can add, for example, complimentary hotel stay with your call to action, regardless of whether you're in the travel space or not. We found it works in almost any industry. To be able to say, for example, 
hey, if you join my market, my program and you pay for 12 months in advance, so you make them earn it by doing something extra. So if, for example, if you pay for 12 months in advance instead of paying monthly, we'll reward you with a bonus of three nights in Las Vegas on us mm -hmm. um, or five nights in Cancun, Mexico on us or Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, very popular in Canada, five nights in Puerto Vallarta on us when you pay for 12 months in advance or when you pay my invoice in full instead of a, a 30, you know, on a monthly plan. Or maybe it's um, uh, book a hotel because we also offer hotel savings cards. They come in increments of one, two, three, and five hundred dollars. They're good at a million hotels worldwide. So you might we have hundreds of members that use the the smaller incentive like the hotel savings card or the restaurant savings vouchers that we also offer, and they'll do like, hey, book a no obligation Zoom call with us to see if we're going to be a good fit to work together. And whether you hire us to do that, this for you, or whether we, you know, work together or not, we're going to reward you with a two hundred dollar hotel savings card for your next travel booking, uh, just for showing up on time for the Zoom call. So now, when they gave you, now you have you add more to your your lead generation for name, phone number, and email, and you're saying when you down, you know, sign up for the Zoom call, we're going to give you a two hundred dollar hotel savings card. Or maybe you have a, a ebook or a PDF or a video training. You might say, download my PDF, download our ebook, download, watch our video training, join me on our webinar. And just for joining the webinar, if you stay till the end, we're going to reward you with a $50 restaurant savings voucher good in your local area so that when you, next time you go out to dinner, you can save money on your, on your, uh, on your dinner, dinner out. So you have an extra reason for people to give you a valid phone number, email, and name. And now you're building your database and you're communicating with them over and over, building until you generate sales. Thanks for sharing the, um, the incentive um, aspect. So pretty much in, in a nutshell, what you're saying is that you, you are, you're, you're getting something from the customer or potential customer by giving them value. Absolutely. And, and let me give you and I tell you how we were born, even how this company came to be, because that story actually gives an, a, another big idea on how to incentivize your clients. All of us in business today, we need social proof. You talked at the beginning mm -hmm. about you've got to do social, you know, advertise or market yourself on social media. But we need social proof right away. Mm -hmm. You start building, having some customers, you need, ideally, you need social proof. You need reviews, testimonials. And um, mm -hmm. one of the ways that, you know, one, we were in the travel business. And when years ago, 2010, we launched a, a, a very successful travel company, we were doing great, but we wanted more video reviews, but we couldn't get anybody to go that extra mile and film a mm -hmm. selfie review. A video with them at the pool or the beach or the resort because we were selling travel. So we wanted people to film a selfie video, a hotel review and brag about the hotel brand and about ours, but we couldn't get anybody to do it. So we came up with an idea to offer them a bonus vacation if they would film a selfie review. Now, mind you, this idea I'm going to give you next, anybody can use it for any business, very powerful. And that is we would do a survey when we thought our customers should be at their peak of happiness. So for example, the day after they, in, in the travel business, it was the day after they checked into the hotel. Not when they first bought the vacation. We wouldn't ask for a review then, we would ask for the review via a survey the day after they check into the hotel. And the survey would come via email and text message and say, hey, you just checked into the hotel yesterday. By now, you've got an idea, you know, how is the hotel living up to your expectations? How has mm -hmm. our service been so far? Can you give us a star rating of one to five? If they gave us a one, two, or three, well, we wanted to jump all over that and, and see if we could help them solve whatever the problem was. But if they gave us a four or five, those people, we would send an, a, an invitation to say, hey, could would you go an extra, extra mile and help us spread the word about this resort? And if you would film a selfie testimonial and brag about your favorite part of the hotel and brag about the hotel brand and our brand, we're going to give you a bonus trip of three nights in your choice of Orlando or Las Vegas on us. Well, guess what happened? We started getting dozens of video reviews and then hundreds. 
We were posting them all over our website, our Facebook channel, our YouTube channel, TV commercials. We were able to leverage those reviews into hundreds of more transactions. But then we had to turn off the campaign because it was expensive. Okay, now when they travel, we need to give pay for these three nights hotel rooms that we promised. And that's when we came up with the idea, well, let's go back to our hotel partners and see if we can't come up with something. So we went back to our hotel partners and uh, said, listen, your hotels are never full year round. Let's be honest. You've got empty rooms most of the year. Sure, you're sold out for holidays, peak season, special events. But most of the year, you've got 70% of your rooms sitting, 30, 40, 50% of your rooms sitting empty. And we can put some warm bodies in those rooms. You're likely going to spend money at the restaurant, the bar, the casino, the gift shop, the excursion desk. They'll book extra nights. They'll order room service. So they agreed and we got a couple of hotels in Orlando and Las Vegas to participate. Now we were able to go back to giving away unlimited these vacations in exchange for a video review. Well, guess mm. what? That website now has over 30,000 video testimonials, more than any other travel website in the world. And we still use that process today to solicit video reviews from our from our travelers. Um, and, and then that became the whole new business. We thought, wow, we, got, we have Orlando and Vegas. Imagine if we had destinations all over the world and hotels participating with us like this, we'd have another standalone business. And we set out to do that in 2015. And that's what eventually became marketingboost.com when we opened the doors in 2017. And we've been, uh, haven't looked back since where we continue. Now we have 130 destinations around the world. And so what we do is we make it super win, win, win. It's a win for the hotel partners because we're helping them fill rooms that would otherwise go empty. It's a win for the Marketing Boost member who uses our incentives because now they have these high perceived value vacation incentives. They can add value to whatever their call to action is. And it's a win for the end user who receives the free trip because they are they only have to pay the, they don't include airfare, food and beverage or government taxes and fees. So they only pay the government taxes and fees and they're getting to travel for pennies on the dollar. And it's, so it's a win for the end user as well. And everybody wins in the mix there. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for sharing the um, shoe shop proof and how your company utilizes um, testimonials and video proofs. Because we live in a content creation world where people actually want to see a proof of what you're doing. You know what I mean? And actually, that's a powerful tool that um, a small a startup company can utilize. So, my final question to you is that: what's your what's your advice to somebody? who is new to the game and they don't know how to go about marketing? First thing I'd do is I'd go uh, get a book from Alex Harmosi uh, called 100 Million Offers. Mm. And then his second book was 100 Million Leads. And I would strongly recommend you read both of those books um, and get the audio version to go with it and dig into because it's going to help you create your offer that is as he says in 100 million offers you you need to create an offer that's so good people feel stupid saying no mm -hmm. and he's going to help you design your unique offer with that book and he's going to help you design it in today's world for the internet marketing systems including you know your sales funnel and your process so Alex Harmosi, 100 million offers is a great place to start. Then you get into the 100 million leads and how to generate leads because mm -hmm. every business needs leads. The only thing his book does not talk about is how to integrate and, and add incentives to that offer or okay. incentives using incentives for your leads. He does talk a little bit about incentives on the leads process, but You'll get the idea if you go to you know marketingboost.com and see what we offer, and then get his books. Together, you're going to easily be able to build, you know, uh, take your idea or your small business, and and formulate the perfect offer that helps you stand out from the crowd, and then add incentives to that to help that you know make people give people a reason to do business with you now versus later. Oh, thanks. Awesome. If 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 the interested audience would like to get to know you more, kindly share with us how they can reach out to you for, for your advice or for, for your business service. 
Yeah, I recommend we go to uh, our one of our websites called marketingboostsolutions.com, marketingboostsolutions.com. On that site, I've got a little chat bot there that you can ask it. It's an artificial intelligence chat bot. Ask it any question whatsoever about incentives and about our, our incentives and how you could use them for your business. And it'll give you back specific ideas to use for your industry niche, et cetera. There's links there for marketing to get to the marketing boost where you can get a free account actually with no credit card required. So you can get a, a free version of marketing boost with no credit card required, get access to uh, our top 10 destinations that you can give yourself one to check it out and or your clients with again, with no credit card required. So marketingboostsolutions.com. Also join my, there's a link to join my Facebook group from there. We have over 30,000 entrepreneurs in our Facebook group um, where we're helping them, guide them, give them ideas on how to grow your business with incentives.